Lisa Randall, Dark Matter and the Dinosaurs, The Astounding Interconnectedness of the Universe. In the book, Dark Matter and the Dinosaurs, The Astounding Interconnectedness of the Universe by Lisa Randall, readers are introduced to the mysterious and invisible dark matter that comprises 85% of all matter in the universe. The book explores the fascinating properties of dark matter, its gravitational interactions, and its crucial role in the formation of our galaxy and solar system. The author takes us on an enthralling journey through cosmic radiation, meteoroids, comet strikes, and the role they possibly played in the development of life on Earth. From the origins of the solar system to the mass extinctions that have shaped Earth's history, this summary will provide readers with a holistic understanding of the universe's interconnectedness. Unveiling Invisible Dark Matter Have you ever been told, I'll believe it when I see it? It's understandable, but this mindset falters when it comes to dark matter. Although it's everywhere, you can't see it because it doesn't interact with light or have electromagnetic interactions. In fact, dark matter particles are constantly moving through you, even right now. Similar to the unseen yet vital microscopic bacteria surrounding us, dark matter comprises an impressive 85% of all matter in the universe. Despite its invisibility, it can be detected through gravitational interactions. In the 1930s, scientist Fritz Zwicky made a groundbreaking discovery when observing the velocity of stars and galaxies. He realized that the visible mass couldn't account for the gravitational pull exerted, which led him to propose the existence of dark matter. Unveiling the mystery of dark matter opens up a world of understanding about the universe's composition and underscores the significance of the unseen. Dark Matter, Universe's Backbone When Fritz Zwicky first theorized about dark matter, little was known about its role in the universe. Since then, researchers delving into cosmic microwave background have discovered that dark matter contains five times the energy of all visible matter. It's key to creating the gravitational force needed for a galaxy structure, essentially forming the backbone of our universe. The formation of our solar system 4.56 billion years ago was influenced by dark matter, which helped shape the planet's distribution and compositions. Remarkably, if the Sun is excluded, 99% of our solar system's mass is found in Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The cosmic microwave background, an ancient radiation originating from the universe's formation, has been invaluable in understanding dark matter. Scientists can analyze this data to determine the composition of radiation, matter, and energy in the universe's infancy, just 380,000 years after the Big Bang. Through this examination, it becomes apparent that dark matter is essential to create gravitational forces that give structure to galaxies. As the universe expanded after the Big Bang, dark matter didn't interact with radiation or gases, allowing it to clump together and form the foundation of the galaxies we see today. Our solar system was formed 4.56 billion years ago when an area of dense gas collapsed to create the Sun. With dark matter's assistance, materials scattered across the galaxy came together in a disk surrounding the Sun, eventually forming planets. However, planets formed differently based on their proximity to the Sun closer planets such as Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are made of materials that resist combustion, like iron and aluminum. In contrast, farther planets like Jupiter and Saturn gathered gaseous materials that would have otherwise burned up, making them larger. Accounting for this distribution, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune collectively constitute 99% of our solar system's mass when the Sun is not considered. Meteoroids Shaping Earth's Evolution Dark matter played a crucial role in the formation of the Sun and planets within our solar system, but surrounding meteoroids made significant contributions too. Earth experienced numerous meteoroid impacts during the early and late heavy bombardment periods, depositing various elements, carbon, frozen gases, water, and even amino acids that have defined our planet's geological wealth and aided in the emergence of complex life forms. The amino acids found in meteoroids might have been instrumental in developing life on Earth, with evidence linking the appearance of fossilized species to meteoroid impacts. 
In the early days of the solar system, the formation process brought billions of asteroids together, settling amidst the gravitational tug-of-war between Mars and Jupiter and the outer limits of the system. During this time, meteoroids, or extraterrestrial objects entering Earth's atmosphere, bombarded our nascent planet. Two major meteoritic activity periods, the early bombardment, 3.8 billion years ago, and the late heavy bombardment, 500 million years ago, characterized these events. These celestial impacts left their mark by depositing valuable minerals found sparsely on Earth's crust. As our planet congealed, heavy elements, such as iron and nickel, sank into the core. Meteorites compensated for this by bringing materials like carbon, frozen gases, water, and even amino acids, which are essential components of protein and DNA. This influx of resources enriched the Earth and set the stage for life as we know it. Life on Earth started to sprout about 3.8 billion years ago, with scientists theorizing that amino acids from meteoroids might have played a significant role in this development. Fossilized records show evidence of a spike in complex life following meteoroid impacts, such as trilobite fossils found above meteoroid-induced chemical deposits in China's Yangtze Gorge. This discovery lends support to the notion that meteoroids were instrumental in shaping our planet's rich biodiversity. Unraveling Cosmic Mysteries Earth has a long history of meteoroid bombardment, with millions of small meteoroids burning up in the atmosphere daily, easily observable on a clear night. Comets, unlike these meteoroids, feature bright tails and originate from either the Kuiper Belt or the Oort Cloud, far-flung regions of space housing myriad celestial objects. While the Oort Cloud might contain objects capable of causing mass extinction, its vast distance makes it a challenge for humans to explore its mysteries. Throughout Earth's extensive history, it has faced notable instances of meteoroid bombardment. However, most space debris entering our planet's atmosphere in modern times barely leaves an impact. Millions of these tiny meteoroids constantly burn up in Earth's atmosphere, accounting for roughly 50 tons every day. On a clear night, away from city lights, witnessing a streak zip across the sky is not an uncommon sight. These mesmerizing displays are meteoroids burning up in the atmosphere and should not be confused with another celestial phenomenon, comets. Comets are known for their long, radiant tails that burn brightly as they approach the sun. Hailing from the frigid reaches of space, far beyond Jupiter, their icy components such as helium and ethanol ignite, creating breathtaking light shows. Comets can be categorized into short period or long period, depending on their origin. Short period comets come from the Kuiper Belt, beyond Neptune, a region populated with dwarf planets like Pluto and countless other unidentified objects. Venturing deeper into space, we find the mysterious Oort Cloud, home to long period comets. Named after Dutch astronomer Jan Oort, this cloud resides on the solar system's edge, where the sun's gravity is weakest. Even the slightest push can launch an object from the Oort cloud, transforming it into a comet. The cloud may contain trillions of objects, including potential minor planets and gigantic comets capable of causing mass extinctions. But, due to the vast distance and the remoteness of the Oort cloud, humanity struggles to uncover its enigmatic secrets. Meteoroids, Unprecedented Destructive Power Meteoroids have played an uncertain role in the development of life on Earth, but their destructive power cannot be underestimated. The Tunguskai event in 1908 serves as an example of the colossal force a meteoroid can unleash. A 50-meter-wide meteoroid exploded above Russia, releasing energy equivalent to a 10 to 15 megaton bomb, which is 1,000 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. This explosion caused widespread devastation and altered atmospheric conditions. Scientists now closely monitor the sky to identify and track near-Earth objects NEOs, and near-Earth asteroids NEAs, to mitigate the risk of potential impacts. While the current probability of a significant collision is low, U.S.-led projects, such as the Asteroid Impact and Deflections Assessment Mission and the Asteroid Redirect Mission, are developing tactics to divert meteoroids, thus potentially averting catastrophic events on Earth. Earth's Mass Extinctions Unraveled 
Earth has undergone five mass extinctions, each with severe repercussions on life on the planet. The most notable is the Cretaceous Paleogene, KPG, event that annihilated the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. The KPG extinction is unique because it bears evidence of a meteoroid impact, which was identified by examining exposed rock formations. This event is characterized by a high concentration of rare iridium minerals, providing a clear indication that a colossal meteoroid was responsible for the dinosaur's obliteration. Throughout Earth's history, five cataclysmic mass extinctions have occurred, each drastically altering the planet's biodiversity. The initial event transpired 440 million years ago, followed by another wiping away of the living organisms 380 million years ago, signifying the end of the Devonian period. The most catastrophic of all was the Permian-Triassic extinction, occurring roughly 250 million years ago, which claimed 90% of all species, insects included. Subsequently, the termination of the Triassic period witnessed 75% of species vanishing from the planet. The pinnacle of these extinctions was the Cretaceous Paleogene or KPG event that eradicated the dinosaurs approximately 66 million years ago. Marine life and plant species also fell prey to this occurrence. Its unique aspect lies in the observable KPG boundary in rock formations, evidencing a meteoroid impact. Signature indicators of a meteoroid strike, such as diamonds and shocked quartz, have been detected at the KPG boundary. This discovery led to the understanding that meteoroid impact was responsible for wiping out the dinosaurs. An interesting detail is the unusually high concentration of iridium, a rare mineral on Earth. Geologist Walter Alvarez found iridium levels in KPG samples to be 90 times higher than average, pointing to a meteoroid impact that deposited about 500,000 tons of iridium. Consequently, Alvarez discerned that the meteoroid responsible for the KPG extinction was a staggering 10 to 15 kilometers in diameter. Despite many unanswered questions about Earth's mass extinctions, it is evident that a massive meteoroid caused the KPG event and the dinosaurs' untimely demise. The Meteor That Changed Earth Imagine a meteoroid, 10 to 15 kilometers wide, hurtling toward Earth at a velocity of 20 kilometers per second. With a destructive power equivalent to over 100 trillion tons of TNT, it could cause severe earthquakes, tsunamis, tidal waves, and devastating winds felt worldwide. When this cataclysmic event occurred 66 million years ago, Earth's surface was subjected to intense heat, incinerating over 50% of its organic matter, as evidenced by the charcoal soot found in the KPG layer. Poisonous nitrous oxide and sulfur filled the air and water, leading to years of acid rain. Although most impact craters from such meteoroids have eroded away or are hidden beneath the ocean, the KPG layer's findings indicate that the meteorite struck a continental shelf, allowing scientists to pinpoint the crater's location. Unraveling the KPG Impact Mystery Piecing together the KPG meteoroid impact location required significant effort and multiple discoveries. Initially, peculiar magnetic disturbances off the Yucatan Peninsula in the Gulf of Mexico were found by geologists working for Pemex. In the 1970s, a magnetic survey revealed a circular region roughly 180 kilometers in diameter. Later, in 1981, Glenn Penfield and Antonio Camargo presented their findings on this anomaly, though the connection with the KPG meteoroid remained unmade. Fast forward to 1990, a University of Arizona team led by Alan Hildebrand discovered KPG layers rich in shocked quartz and iridium in Haiti, indicating an impact location within a 1,000 km radius. Carlos Byers, a reporter, recalled Penfield's earlier find and informed Hildebrand. Upon examination of core samples from the crater, Hildebrand's team indeed found shocked quartz and iridium dating back 66 million years, confirming the Chicxulub crater as the KPG meteoroid impact site. The Rhythms of Cosmic Catastrophes The discovery of the Chicxulub crater was a pivotal moment for understanding the history of Earth's impact events. However, that is just one among many craters found stimulating scientists to investigate their effects on life on our planet. 
the research suggests that a regular cycle of comet strikes might bring about mass extinctions every 27 to 35 million years. The idea of a recurring pattern arose in the 1970s when Princeton geologists analyzed fossil records and reported. Since then, numerous studies on both fossil records and impact craters have indicated a systematic frequency of these catastrophic events. Another possible connection to these extinctions lies in the Oort cloud, believed to be the origin of the devastating, high-speed, long-period comets that cause these large impacts. The intriguing regularity of these cataclysmic occurrences warrants further investigation to better comprehend their role in shaping the Earth's history. Tides of Galactic Forces As our solar system orbits the Milky Way's center, it encounters galactic tides caused by the Milky Way's gravitational pull. This force is similar to the effect of the Moon's gravity on Earth's ocean tides, causing the Oort cloud at the outer edge of the solar system to elongate. Consequently, objects within the Oort cloud might be pushed towards the Sun, making them more susceptible to other forces that could send them flying as comets. The 32 million year periodic release of comets from the Oort cloud remains a mystery, however, it may also be linked to the solar system's oscillations across the galactic plane. The solar system crosses the central galactic plane every 32 million years, which might lead to a density change in our system's center. This mysterious force affecting gravity could be responsible for dislodging these objects and initiating similar cataclysmic events. Dark Matter's Comet Connection Dark matter, mysterious cosmic substance, may be responsible for massive meteorites striking Earth. There could be various types of dark matter, including self-interacting dark matter that causes higher density clustering. This might explain irregular density distribution in some galaxies. In the Milky Way, such dark matter could form a denser disk at the galactic center. As our solar system orbits around the galaxy, it passes through this denser region every 32 million years, potentially dislodging comets from the Oort cloud and hurling them towards Earth. The accuracy of this theory will be tested with data from the GAIA satellite, which is monitoring the galaxy's precise measurements. Are you intrigued by the connection between celestial collisions and baffling cosmic particles? Let's examine how dark matter may be linked to massive meteorite impacts on Earth. Dark matter is a mysterious substance that, like other known particles such as quarks and neutrinos, might exist in multiple forms. One type could be self-interacting dark matter, which clusters into denser structures due to its attraction to itself. Why should this matter to us? This phenomenon could account for why some galaxies exhibit irregular density distribution, with higher concentrations towards their center. The Milky Way itself may be harboring such self-interacting dark matter, forming a denser disk at the heart of the galactic plane. How does this affect comets and Earth? Envision our solar system's orbit around the galaxy. As it oscillates, it would pass through this dense dark matter disk approximately every 32 million years. Upon doing so, the solar system would encounter the higher density region, dislodging primed comets from the Oort cloud and flinging them towards Earth. However, this compelling theory has yet to be proven. In 2018, scientists received data from the GAIA satellite, which continuously records precise measurements of our galaxy. By thoroughly analyzing this data, researchers will uncover whether an area of high density indeed lies at the center of the galactic plane and consequently affects stellar velocities, shedding light on this cosmic mystery. In conclusion, Dark Matter and the Dinosaurs delves into the intricate workings of our universe and reveals how widespread and essential Dark Matter truly is. Not only did dark matter enable the formation of our galaxy, planets, and solar system, but it might also have been influential in the development of life on Earth through meteoroid impacts. The book also sheds light on the possible regularity of comet strikes and their connection to dark matter, with fascinating implications for future scientific discoveries. Ultimately, Lisa Randall excites readers' sense of wonder while expanding their understanding of the astoundingly interconnected cosmos that surrounds us.